What's going on, everybody? Welcome to T3G. I'm Full Throttle. I'm Cerebro. And today we're doing a Kingsman review. Kingsman. Ah, oh, such a good movie. Well, let, let's. I want to. I want to say this. All right. So we went. Uh, we both were hoping that everybody was wrong about Seven Son. We were. We really yeah. were. Seven Son. We, Seven we, Son we were like up a, here. Up here was the bar for us. We went to see it. It was really. Here. Yeah, well, I, I was I was at the good part, right? I didn't expect excellence or anything. I just wanted it to be good, and it was definitely down there. So, it set a very low bar for anything next that we saw. Right. And the next thing we saw was Kingsman, and all I gotta say is that set a whole up new here. bar. Up here. <laughs> that it's set just up here. a different bar. Uh, I don't know. For me, it was just a great movie. Fantastic, Absolutely great, near perfect film. I would say it, it is. In my list of all time, kind of comic book, you know, fantasy related stuff, it's number two behind Iron Man. Like Iron Man is still my number one because it was a perfect it film. It was a perfect in, in my film. opinion. It is a ten out of ten film. Absolutely. Like there's this really this is like a solid like nine point eight. Right. Like this is the only the only one thing, literally one thing I wanted out of this movie that wasn't done is actually seeing the torch pass you know, the, the, the passing of the torch. Right. Outside right, of that, right. like you know he got it right. at the end. You know he got it. You know that he's the next dude. Sure. But I would have liked to see the kind of like, because he was, he, you know, he gets kicked out. So then you're thinking he's not going to do it. But then he gets the, he gets the, he gets the thing at the end anyway, because he's the guy. He saved the world. Right. So he, you know, he kind of made them eat their words. And he, he had this whole situation where he was really literally the underdog. You know, everyone, he walks in and everyone else is like these bougie mugs and, they're just like, oh, who are you? Why are you here? We're, we're worthy. You're, who the hell are you? Right. And they all lost, and they all died except the one girl, and she helped him out. Right, right, right. So it was, uh, I, I, that was the only thing I wanted. Outside of that, just hilarious. Well, here's what I uh, want to say. I want to say, everything was over the top. And yeah. that's why it was great. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Every, oh God, it wasn't the like, top. oh, well, that was just over. No, the, everything was over the top, and it was great. The comedy, the action, the, the, the just everything. Everything was it over was, the top, and it made sense for this movie. And all I got to say is Matthew Vaughn, that guy is on a roll. Oh, my director. God, yeah. Matthew Vaughn's a great so, director. If you've seen any, like, old Bond films where stuff is, let's say in, in a fight, stuff is conveniently placed to, like, be, be able to throw it at somebody, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like, it's such a good movie that it's over the top in all the right ways. Like, yeah. the, the, the fighting, the comedy, everything is... It's Especially. just really good. If you've seen the trailer and if you've seen um, Samuel L. Jackson, if you've seen that... I don't think it's enough. It doesn't really show like what if, the movie Because like, that, that should give you an idea of where this movie is. Like, right. That ridiculous accent that he's got, yeah. that like, lisp thing that, that he's got going great. on, and where he's like, oh, I can't stand the sight of blood. Like They, re they play that yeah, out play to that its out. fullest. Because yeah. yeah. like, he ends up, <laughs> he ends up getting stabbed, and he pukes right after he sees blood. <laughs> so he wasn't even joking. Like He says, if it was just, like a drop of blood, uh, you know, I'm just Listen, hurling. If you enjoy spy movies action and comedy mixed all in one this is the movie for you mm -hmm. you will not be disappointed this is not for children i will say this no, much i wouldn't bring you, you i wouldn't bring your for, uh, 10, for, for 10, the, 10 11 12 year old kid to this no for for, not. for the lovers of women <laughs> um yeah. There is a vagina shot. There's like a straight up vagina shot. Oh, it's yeah. not till right right at the end, but at the same time, like that's not you should not have your children with you. Yeah, you probably <laughs> shouldn't. But it's it's still. I mean, overall, it, it is a phenomenal. So good. I don't know how so else to good. put it. I don't know how else. You know, we we like I said with Seven Son, it was such a low bar. We went into this thinking, okay, maybe yeah. maybe we're gonna I, over expect too much and. And, and and we lowered the bar coming right. in. We lowered the bar coming we, in because yeah. I really I, I had. Good we just wanted to be good. We right. just wanted to be. good. I just wanted good, and it just it, it crushed it. And this it was really just amazing. It. I mean, it, like I said, everything's over the top, but it's just a right over the top. Like it made sense for the movie. It's not supposed to be just your standard spy movie. It's not supposed to be just your standard action movie. It's supposed to be over the top, and I love it. I yeah, love it. it's absolutely. I love the at the end the heads blowing off. That is oh, great. God. And they the put symphony, it to music. They the put it to the symphony, playing. and it just oh. like heads ex literally heads exploding all over the place. And it looks and, like, and like fireworks. It's yeah, great. Oh, it's great. God, it's so it's great. The so action good. was awesome overall. Cause, yeah, uh, a lot really of times, well done. Again, that over the top kind of spy movie action. Where it's like it, it's 
not quite Matrix level, like dodging and avoiding stuff, but it's very much like playing into the idea that these guys are the top, you know, the best of the best. Right. And, and, and that they have all these gadgets and tools that kind of make it really awesome to be in that position. So, you know, you're busting out the, 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 the bullet deflecting umbrella. Right. Just fantastic. And then just really just great moments just I mean, fantastic you know, honestly out of all the spy movies that i can think of that are also action i would say the action in this was probably the best of anything even though it was over the top yeah. i would say it was the best because like you look at bond movies right spy action he but, doesn't do a crazy amount of action yes does he, he do, there's action you know, he yeah. falls through stuff he punches and stuff like that but this is like a whole different martial arts action yeah and it's this, like you this, see their top of the top like in when comparison, so, like, the, the comparison, I think, between this and, like, a Bond movie, in terms of spy movie action, right? I would say would be the same as comparing, like, an, an American um, action, like, a regular action movie, to, like, uh, a Japanese action movie. No, absolutely. Where there's just even, so much more action, and everything is even more right. than it is in, in an American movie. But so. even if you take something like Wanted, even this was above that, and I enjoyed the action in this more than Unwanted. Like, or, or Wanted, I said Unwanted. Wanted. Uh, but... Not saying that one it was bad or anything, but I'm sure. just saying the action in this just. But I think because well, yeah, I, mean, I, th I think this was a better top. movie than than one in any movie. Right, beyond but that. I think like, because this was so over the top, mm -hmm. the action made sense with it. Sure, and, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. The it, and actually a lot of times some directors will do where the action so over the top that. Uh, that they'll try to shake the camera a little bit so you can't see the action as clearly. Not with this. You could really tell what was going on in those scenes, in yeah. those action scenes. Yeah, it was And that was really, really impressive really well to keep it that clean uh, and, you know, still be able to show you something to that extent. I mean, you couldn't almost, you couldn't even tell if it was a double or not because it looked like it was the person Yeah, like right, right towards the beginning, he does, he does a, some crazy parkour to get out of a fight. And you're sitting there and I was like, is that actually him? I'm like, right. it looks like he did this whole, like, walking down this really narrow path and jumping over things. Like, it really looked like him. So I don't Absolutely. know if it was. It, and that's the kind of stuff where in a lot of movies, you look at it and you're like, okay, here's where the double came in. Yep. But in this, like, it, it was really hard to, 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 to see that. They really blended it extremely well. Yeah, for me, I mean, overall, like I said, great movie. I would give it, you said 9.8 out of 10. I would give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's very close to almost being perfect for what it is. And, yeah. Uh, and because it is over the top, it's not something that uh, you see. Usually when you see the over the top comedy like we did, yeah. it's something like uh, uh, Mike Myers. Uh, Austin Powers. Austin Powers or, and stuff or like, like that. Rush I, Hour. I can't take that stuff too seriously. Yeah. Where with this movie, I took because it seriously, but yet it was still fun. Right. You took it seriously, but at the same time, it was one of those things where it it's based in something that's already kind of in our minds it's a little over the top like the idea of right. like a, a super se secret agency right. is already kind of you know extravagant in our minds like we we know that the CIA exists like movies about the CIA have to be super serious they can't have this fun kind of stuff that's why when you see movies like uh, when they did Johnny English like that movie was super over the top because it was for an a like an agency that doesn't exist right because I don't think it, they were MI6 were they uh, I don't remember. For which one? For Johnny English. I honestly never watched I don't it. remember. Never watched uh, it. But, like, if it's for an existing agency that, like, at least we've seen other movies about that they're very serious, like, we don't, and even if it was uh, MI6, we don't, like, there's not a lot of movies about MI6, at least not in the States. Right. Um, so, when they did Johnny English and it was like, oh, like, this is kind of crazy and, like, he, you know, the cone of silence or whatever, like, 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 it, it was, ex like, I, I accepted it because it was supposed to, like, to me, it's such a, um, kind of an outland, not, not outlandish, but it's such a, a remote, distant kind of thing that any portrayal of it, like, as soon as you set it up, that's what I'm going to accept it as. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I guess that's the best way to put it. Honestly, that's pretty much it. I don't I don't really have much else to say except go see the movie. Pay absolutely. Any price. Yeah, I, I would, pay I all would the pay, prices. I would pay... <laughs> 
I would pay I more. wouldn't go 3D if they I don't, no, know if they made I the don't 3D, think they did 3D but, but they got a point of 3D on this. I think I, I think you if you, if you have an IMAX without 3D, I would see it in IMAX. Yeah. Yeah, because, I would definitely see it. In and IMAX. I don't I don't say that about a lot of movies, but I would definitely see it in IMAX just cuz then then everything will be even more over the top. Right? No, absolutely. But yeah, that's that's my recommendation go see absolutely. it 9 out of 5 9 and a half out of 10, yours 9.8 out of 10. Yeah. So obviously it's a good movie, but that's our review. Uh let's see here. I'm gonna look up IMDb for this one too, to see what others given it. So IMDb gives it a 8.3 out of 10, which is close to what we're giving it. And uh, Rotten Tomatoes at 73 percent, uh, three and a half out of five. Metacritic 59. Metacritic 59. I'm, I've never looked at Metacritic before, no. so I don't really care. But yeah, so clearly it's it's a good movie. Others yeah, think so it's as well. accepted. It's definitely accepted as a really good movie, and I. I just can't recommend going to see this enough. It's it's really fun. It's it's lighthearted enough that it's 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 gonna take away from some of these really serious movies that are coming out. Yeah, absolutely. You have a lot of really serious movies coming out. Um, like even though Ant Man is going to be a little more comedic, still, I think I think being set in the universe right. that it is, I think it's still more serious. And you have um, what else is coming out? You have Terminators and all this all the stuff that's coming out that's really serious. This is going to be a nice, light-hearted adventure romp that you should go see. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, there's there's just no way other, other way to put it. Yep. Definitely recommend it. Yep. Yeah. Go see it. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button if you like the video. Appreciate you guys watching. Check out T3GTech.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. As always, I have been Cerebro. Full throttle. Signing off.